Welcome back guys and today we will see how to check if a value exists or not in any given array. So as an input what we have, we have one string array. Let's name this array word or you can say words which will have a sum element in it. So element like let's say pen, laptop, mobile and let's say last element would be home okay and now our objective is we have to figure out whether we have a uh, this value or not let's say we are searching for coffee word into this words string array okay and i'm pretty much sure that many of you is already have a basic understanding of one particular answer and that is through for loop right but I would say, you know, instead of using for loop, we can use something better. The only thing we have to figure out that, you know, uh, which library um, do support uh, this kind of functionality, which can solve our purpose, right? So I would suggest you to watch this video till the end. Okay, so let's get start. Then let's think about uh, our given array. So as soon as this array, a word uh, will come into existence, uh, means as soon as it will have a space in memory. So let's say, Right now it will have a memory, you know, for those four elements. So this is pen, laptop, mobile, home, right? And there is some address uh, for this. So let's say this is A1, A2, A3, A4, right? So this is our normal array, right? It is not our array list, means we cannot change the size of the array. Now once it allocated for uh, four elements then we cannot resize this array okay so now we have to have a clear understanding of you know which kind of functionality uh, this kind of array uh, you know do support so let's explore this now and how we can do that that we can do through id itself if you will type and press like this dot then you will see it will come out all this method which is supported by this array so you can see here we can call a uh, word dot length which will return the size of the array we can use clone method we can use equal method so in another word you can think that around this element we have some method which can interact with this element and do some kind of operation right so as we have seen just now so let's say this method is clone this could be to string like that let's assume we have some methods right but in this list of methods we don't have any methods which can solve our purpose so let's assume for a while how it would be uh, you know if we can borrow a method from somebody else or you can say uh, if we can implement uh, some method from somebody else who can solve our purpose so let's say around this elements if we have some method implemented for example let's say method x which can solve our purpose right so if we can provide such kind of functionality to this array then that would be always great right now the question is how and from where we can implement this kind of method so normally indirectly i'm saying that you no know, we have to think something you know wrapper around this array okay we have to create a wrapper around this array so if you have to find out any uh, you know answer related to arrays so what this java developers they have done they have created a one class called arrays okay and in this class as you can see that there are so many methods defined right so now let's look these methods one by one then you can figure out you know there is one method called as list right over here so if you see uh, the definition of this method then it is clearly saying that you know, it will return a fixed size list back by the specified array. So here the signature you can see it will return a list type and what parameter it is receiving as an argument. So you can see this A is nothing but a array. Okay. So I hope that it is not creating any you know, confusion here. So it is clearly saying that it will be the fixed size. So it's mean that you know uh, if later on if you wanted to perform any add or remove functionality on this array, 
then it will not alter the size of the array okay so in short you can say that uh, if you'll apply this as list method on top of this array then what you are doing is nothing but you are creating a wrapper around it so we will use this so we will pass here words and this is written as a list list of string and let's name it word list okay so we have to import this so guys after this what we have done we have created a wrapper around this array words okay and we are receiving those wrappers as a list and now if you wanted to explore which kind of additional functionality we have implemented so let's see that so now you can see here uh, we have setter get so this set get is nothing but uh, you know if you wanted to update any value on this array then we can use set if you wanted to receive any element value then we can use get right and, and this functionality were not there on this array words okay so similarly we have so many things uh, and now you can see here so there is one method called contents and this is the method which can solve our purpose so what it will take is object and in our case that object would be a coffee just because we have been looking for coffee and this will return a boolean let's store that value somewhere and now let's print out if we have found then simply we can say value found or else we can say value is missing okay let's execute and let's see the output so definitely it will print our else output so here you go it is printing value is missing and let's assume if you are looking for some value which is already there in that array so let's say if you are looking for laptop then definitely you will get the output as in value form right so guys now you have to understand uh, your requirement if the requirement is only to find uh, you know such kind of value inside uh, that array then definitely you can use this method as list method but let's say if the requirement comes uh, something like you know apart from this content you know you wanted to do some kind of you know add and remove operation as well then i would say that you know uh, using array as list will not solve our purpose it will help you to search uh, the value in the array but it will not add and remove any element because this as list will return you fixed size array okay so remember the definition all the time so we now we wanted to perform a contain operation along with add and remove operation okay let's go back to our blackboard so definitely uh, one thing is for sure we cannot do anything with this array so what i'm trying to say here is that we have to create a different array in different location but this time we'll not create a simple array we'll try to create a array list okay using this array so let's say this is a heap memory and the entire thing this uh, is on stack so this time using this array we wanted to create some memory location on here right which will contain this value so we will pass this array you know as in constructor parameter and definitely we will be creating one reference here which will be pointing to this object right now let's get back to the editor and let's try to code for this so what i'm saying that we have a array list of string type and let's name this list now in this constructor what we have to do we have to pass this and now you must be wondering that you know why we are not passing only words array into this then normally you can see uh, this three different type of constructor one constructor is simply empty constructor means uh, through that you know we can create a empty list and another thing is we can initialize the initial capacity 
so let's assume that you know initially you may uh, have an idea about you know how many elements you wanted to store right while creating that array list so that number you can pass or else you can see this constructor so in this constructor it is saying that constructs a list containing the elements of the specified collection and that is the reason that okay we, why we are not able to pass a simple array right so we have to pass a collection so here this will return a list as we have mentioned that earlier and the list is nothing but a collection so this you can verify you know what value this list is containing let's so let's print that list so we can print that list like this if you execute now then now you can see this list is having this values and now let's search for the laptop so again we'll store that value uh, somewhere and list dot you can see it will also have the same method contains and here we'll pass uh, laptop so this time what we'll do uh, let's print out i know directly so so this will uh, print true or false right so it is printing true now if you search for the coffee then it will print false and now uh, what we are doing uh, let's add some elements now so let's add coffee this time and then we'll print again our list okay so now you can see coffee at the end of this list and now let's try to add uh, the same value uh, in this word list okay then let's see what happens So in this situation, uh, it will combine fine, but at the runtime, it will throw an exception. So if you execute this now, then you will surely you will see an exception. So now here, uh, clearly you can see the difference. I know array list uh, you can create when uh, when you have to uh, support for functionality like you know add and removal as well, you know along with this contents. But if the requirement is only for searching then i would say that you know you can use arrays dot as list so that's it guys for today and if you wanted to watch some more videos then you can find out some a link on your screen right now and we will see you next video